Before starting this video, I'd love to thank Relable for sponsoring this entire tree series. The placement season is here. I know a lot of you are planning to sit for companies which come on campus. In case you are disappointed that the top startups like Cred, Upgrad, Razorpay are not hiring directly from your campus, there is an easier way to work here. Just register for the Relable test conducted by Relable by Unacademy and you'll get a chance to apply for front-end, back-end and business development roles at India's top startups and unicorn companies. Relable has 1000 plus openings by 50 plus companies and the best thing is it's absolutely free. So please make sure you check out all the links in the description and give the Relable test as soon as possible. Hey everyone, welcome to another lecture of the Free Cut Tree series. Now, in one of my previous videos, I have explained to you about the traversal techniques. And one of the traversal techniques was the in-order traversal technique. So, in this video, we are going to see the implementation of in-order traversal. If you remember, in-order traversal was left, root, right. Now, in binary trees, we generally implicate recursion in order to travel. Because you have to go to every subtree and then do the task and then again come back and then again go to the subtree. It's a kind of a recursion that we do. Go, come, go. Right? So that's a recursion. That is why this is the simple. Don't complicate binary trees. Keep it as simple as you can. So initially, we always will start from the root of the tree. Okay, so that's where we initially call the recursion from. That's the root of the tree. And what we do is, we go as a cross, like left, left, left. And then root we print and then go to the right. So how will that be implicated? So this is the base case. Basically, whenever we go and it's over. It's over that that means we are at the leaf node and we don't have anything at that case we will return but in normal we will say in order node dot left so let's uh, do this node dot left will go here and stand over here again the call will come to this in order this is not executed again say is in order node dot left so this will go over here and it'll come over here right now again node dot left goes over here to a null position to a null position so whenever it goes to null position, returns. So as soon as it returns, comes back. So this line was there, right? Went to left, comes back. After that, print is exec executed. So 4 will be printed. 4 is printed. So this line is done. Next, in order of node dot right. So it will come to the right and again it will find a null. So if it finds a null, it will return. So when it returns, it will go back. Goes back. Now this, this was a call. Went to left. Printed, went to right. So it's completely over. Once it is over, what it will do? The recursion is over. If the recursion is over, it will go back. So this guy, which called for left, it did its task and now is coming back. Since it is coming back, the next line will be print. So this 2 will be printed. Once this 2 is printed, again node of right. So this will go node of right. Now you will come to this node. Again, the same steps. Node dot left. So this will be the node dot left, again node dot left, so this will be the null, if it is null, goes back, so left is gone, goes back, so this guy will be print, so 6 will be printed, right after that, since 6 is printed, it will go to the right, right, finds null, comes back, when it comes back, 6 is over, so 6 will now go back, 5 will say, I call for left, this is done, now, currently I have to print myself because left root, I have to print myself. So, I'll print it. Once it is printed, it will go to the right. Again, it will find null. It will go back. Now, when it goes back, there is a 5. Correct? So, what it will do is, it will simply uh, go back because left is over, printing is over, right is over. Right? So, go back. So, for 2, left is over, printing is over, right is over. So, can I say 2 is also over? So, I will now go back. So, for 1, left is over, came back. So, the next step is print. So, 1 will be printed. Next, right. So, when you come to right, again, this is a node. If it's a node, left will be called. So, call the left 7. Now, you have 7. So, again, the left will be called, which is null. So, it will go back from null. When it goes back from the left, 7 will be printed. So, at the next step, 7 will go right and it will find none, come back. So I can say for 7, left, print, right is over. So it will go back. Now for 3, left is over. So 3 will be printed. Again it will go right, come to 8. For this node, 
left for the node left again it's a null correct so it will go back when it goes back for 9 left is over so 9 will be printed it will go right again it will find null so it will go back so when it goes back for 9 left is over printing is over right is over so it will go back now for 8 left is over so this guy 8 will be printed now for 8 left is over root printing is over so it will go over here for 10 it will again call left which is null go back so for 10 left is over so i'll print 10 then it will go right again it will find null so it will go back now for 10 left is over printing is over right is over goes back for 8 left is over printing is over right is over goes back for 3 left is over right for 3 left is over printing is over right is over goes back for 1 left is over printing is over right is over so ultimately this is your in order traversal that you did do by printing so don't complicate things whatever is over here just write them in recursive code so this is how the recursion will make sure that 4 2 6 5 1 7 3 9 8 is printed as the in order traversal technique so this was the pseudo code you can find the code links in the description for both c++ as well as java so guys i hope you have understood uh, the entire code as well as this wonderful recursive uh, flow so just in case you did please make sure you uh, give a like to this video and you can find the c++ as well as the java code link in the description with this let's wrap up this video and meet in the next video.